Okay, this is uh, kind of exciting. Um, we've got really, really uh, mind-boggling health news to tell you about. Researchers at UCLA's Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center, they've actually created an army of tumor-fighting immune cells that seek out and kill cancer. One of these researchers, Dr. Richard Koya, an assistant professor of surgical oncology at UCLA's David Geffen School of Medicine, joins us this morning to tell us more about the discovery and what it means for cancer patients. Doctor, good morning. Good and morning. we read this study. You are one of the authors of this study. Uh, and for us, I think we need your expertise to help us understand yeah. more about these cancer-fighting cells. And to us, reading it sounds like such an amazing discovery and could make a huge difference in fighting cancer. How does it work? Well, uh, we engineered T cells, which are the cells for the immune system, the, the body defense system, putting in certain genes by using gene therapy therapy approach, mm -hmm. genes that can target these, uh, these T cells to the correct tumor, meaning they, we are creating an army of uh, immune cells that are highly active and very specific to destroy the tumor. We actually have some animation and, and we'll show it to you and maybe you can talk more about it. Okay, so these cells, know they're, they're, they're smart enough to know which cells to attack specifically, correct? This is, this yes. is obviously um, a, a, a rodent, is this a mouse skeleton that we're looking at here? That's right. Okay. So uh, it's a PET uh, scan image. So uh, so what is, uh, is novel in this work is that we put together these uh, T cell receptors, which are the genes that will target the tumor, plus uh, a gene that allows these T cells to be seen by using a, a PET scan or is it Is it more effective in different types of cancers or is it uh, clear across the board? So uh, it has a potential to, uh, to target any kind of cancer, but we are, we are using a, a model uh, of uh, skin cancer, melanoma. Mm -hmm. wow. So uh, our model is based on that because melanoma responds very well to, I would say, immunotherapy approaches using defense systems. But how does it know what cells are good and the ones that are bad? Like once all of those bad cells are gone, will it keep sort of feeling like it needs to fight the fight? What, what happens? So, How do they turn um, off, if you will? So for example, in our model, we have the melanoma cells. They express on the surface of mm -hmm. the cells very specific uh, antigens, I would say, uh, proteins that are from melanoma cells. And the T cells, we educate them, let's say, to, uh, to target these, these proteins okay. that are, let's say, different from the normal cells. Yeah. So they would only destroy the melanoma cells in this case. Isn't that amazing? And this is going to change the way treatment yeah. essentially is going to be for... Well, we, we hope so. So we, um, we have an ongoing trial, yeah. um, but uh, hopefully soon we can open a new one based on our uh, study now. How long do you think roughly it would be before uh, people, patients can be treated? So um, if everything goes well, because there's a lot of paperwork, um, and needed um, within one year. Wow. Yeah. We really? can open a clinical trial. Wow. Wow. Doctor Congratulations Korea. to you, Doctor. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. And for more Thank information you. on the Johnson Cancer Center, please visit our website, ktla.com. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you.